I haven't quite decided on the name. I think it's either going to be Golden Goddess or uh, something along those lines. I have some really beautiful chunky sea salt that I've covered in gold mica. It's very glittery, glittery, <laughs> glitterly, and I'm going to sprinkle that on the top. Um, I also want to try and do a gradient of colors. Oh, excuse my gloves. I ran out of my normal gloves, so hey, still got to be safe. So I put on these these gloves so that at least I'm protected against the lie. They're not pretty, and they're a little bit harder to work with because, as you can see, that's my finger. That's the end of the glove, so, oh well. So, I've got my oils in here, and this one has cocoa butter, shea butter, olive oil, a little bit of tallow. Uh, let's see what else I have in there. I have apricot kernel oil and castor oil and, and coconut. So, this one's all full of goodies. I also have goat's milk powder in here, tessa silk, which I'll be adding in from my lye water. Um, and I also have kale and clay in there, so, whoopee. Alrighty, let's add our, our lye water. I put a little extra silk this time, and as you can see, not all of it dissolved. So, that's why I'm using the strainer, because I don't want any extra pieces of silk floating around in there. Alrighty then. Oh, I gotta add my fragrance. See, I almost, almost forgot my fragrance. As you can see, it's quite yellow. It does have some vanilla in it. So it will just color. And I don't have any color stabilizer, so oh well. We're just going to let the soap do with the fragrance what the soap wants to do. Good. This is a pink chiffon type fragrance oil. And it is absolutely out of this world. It's one of my absolute favorites. I've, I haven't actually soaked with it before. I have made bath and body products. I love it in a bath bomb or a bubble bar. So we'll see how it does in soap. All righty. Now, my idea is to do a gradient. So... I'm going to start with some pink. Oh, that's too much. A stronger pink, and then I'll be adding this white batter to it, adding it to my mold, then adding a little more white, and so on and so forth until I fill up my whole mold and hopefully get the stronger pink on the bottom and then a lighter pink on the top. I had hoped to record this video earlier. The sun was out, it was beautiful and bright out, but you know what? I have four children and we are homeschooling through the summer because baby number five is due in September. And so that kind of takes priority, trying to get ahead so that we can, you know, take it easy when baby comes while we get used to our new new routine with the newborn and everything. So school took a little longer than usual today because we had an impromptu water slide in the backyard. So that was more important. <laughs> All right.
Okay, so here is the finished soap, and I will bring you back for the cutting. Hey everybody, we're back to cut the soap, and I love the way the top turned out, and you can see some of the transition of color there. Now this does have vanillin in it, so it will discolor a little bit. It'll turn a little darker. But I'm going to try cutting it on its side because I don't want the the salt chunks to drag through the soap. So, and I'll probably lose some of those on the top when I cut. You. It's unavoidable. Ooh, and I had already taken off a piece before because I couldn't wait. I had to see it. <laughs> I showed the piece I had cut to my husband. And he said, oh, it looks like Arizona. So I just might rename this one. I was thinking something like sunrise, sunset. Or fool's gold even. I don't know, I'll have to brainstorm that one a little bit. So. And the salt is definitely getting, coming off.
everybody. I won't cut too many of these. They'll all be pretty much the same. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure and subscribe. And I'm going to try and post a little more often since I'm going to be making a few products before the baby comes and then I'll be taking a little vacation myself. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a blessed day. Thank you.